Hey everybody, Steve here. So I just got back from a three-week trip. I left the day after Thanksgiving and uh, went out. Uh, this was part of my scheduled line. I ended up stopping in Spokane. So got to see some snow. It was cold, cold. That riverfront down there is pretty nice. Uh, folks that live in Spokane, it's uh, that's a nice, uh, nice area, riverfront uh, park area there. It's the home of the 1974 World Fair. Uh, so they they uh, renewed the uh, the riverfront downtown. There it used to be all urbanized, with railroad tracks and everything else, and all kind of mills and everything else. Really uh, nice little area down there. It's a beautiful day. Some snow, nice, uh, nice and cool. <laughs> but it was uh, it was beautiful down there. Just walking around, me and my captain went out and had some some dinner there. Uh, so we flew in and spent the night and left the uh, left the next day. Nice little river down there. That's a flour mill, which is uh, all kind of restaurants and shops and stuff. So it's really cool down there. All kind of little uh, maps and displays up. Of course, I got to stop and read every one of them, but uh, explains how that you know used to look down there and how it's. Got urbanized and then renewed, and that's yeah, really, really nice. I'm a big fan of Spokane. It was it kind of had a Christmas story uh, Americana 1930s 40s feel downtown with the Christmas decorations. This was the site of the U.S. Pavilion. Now, it used to be all covered with vinyl, and uh, they they uh, voted to just leave the uh, the wires up there, and they put these uh, little panels up. It's really kind of cool down there. I think that's where the site of the first IMAX uh, screen was. So it's a beautiful night. And well, this was a surprise trip. Antigua ended up uh, getting pulled off my line, and I put on this uh, 757 uh, trip. So they flew me down from LA to JFK to Antigua. That's a shot of the beach. They put us up at this little uh, resort down there on the uh, west coast of Antigua. This was the view. See those islands off in the distance? That's kind of cool. Mon Montserrat and uh, St. Kitts, I think, is what those are. Nice views. Um, so I had to get there. Because we were flying passengers, they have to get me there to, to set me up on the right time zone. So I had a couple of days off there, which is awful nice of them. Thank you. Have myself a little banana mango uh, daiquiri thing there. Out there watching the uh, the sunset. It's uh, really, really nice down there. <laughs> I must state the obvious. And, you know, the fact that I came from Spokane in the wintertime and coming there to Antigua, I love that evening sun on the clouds. Man, I just love it. It's beautiful, beautiful scenery, beautiful beach, and uh, had uh, had some dinner there. Lots of Brits come and stay in Antigua, and they were there for a big cricket match. Um, the crick, uh, Brits were playing the West Indies. So, speaking of crickets, you hear that? I, I hear. Kind of whistling sound, I think, are frogs. Now, that's a cricket. But this, this is. Listen to that. I think those are frogs, or I was hoping they weren't velociraptors or anything like that. But I'm guessing they were probably frogs. So, stayed there for a couple of days, and then uh, we flew seven hours down to Ascension Island. Uh, which is that and St. Helena are their own country. This is about where it was. Off the coast of Brazil, off the coast of Africa, out in the middle of nowhere, below the south, uh, below the equator. Uh, seven hour flight from Antigua to there. This was the, uh, the, the town on uh, Ascension, the main town, Georgetown. There's not much of a town. Volcanic island, very volcanic. There's some wild sheep on the island. Um, it's kind of a look around. I think this is outside my hotel. 
Although there was like billeting, basically. So we, me and my captain walked down to, uh, to Georgetown. It was probably a 15, 20-minute walk. Um, I ended up getting sunburned, which really confused me later, being sunburned in the wintertime. I didn't know how to, my body didn't know how to react to that. So anyway, uh, this was uh, the water, uh, the docks there. Those, the black fish there are trigger fish. And they, uh, they, they kind of creepy. Uh, I remember coming there years ago, about 25 years ago, we came, I came in with the air force. I was eating an apple and I tossed it out in the water and they just tore it apart. That big old, it's not an oil slick. That's a, that's all trigger fish there. Just in a pack. Not sure what they're eating. Hmm. But, uh, water's, you know, super clear. That's an old sea chain. There it's just rusting in a big pile. An old uh, anchor chain, um, but but the fishing there is phenomenal. I remember, like again, twenty five years ago, I caught we we caught eight tuna in about an hour and a half. So it's pretty amazing. Water's beautiful. It's deep, so you go out there probably half a mile, and it's probably eight hundred feet deep. It's just a volcanic island rising up out of the middle of the ocean. Water's super clear. Just, I don't plan to go swimming in it. I want those trigger fish coming around. <laughs> There's more of them. So, um, I think they came in during World War II and turned this into a base. Uh, lots of mice there. <laughs> um, thankfully, not rats, but... Uh, Little mouse there, little cute guy. There he goes. All right, see you later, buddy. <laughs> they were all over the place. Um, not much vegetation to speak of, just some bushes and stuff. That mountain off in the distance is called Green Mountain. So at the top of it kind of sticks itself into the uh, clouds. So it, it uh, actually has vegetation on it. That That's like Red Mountain, I think, in the foreground and Green Mountain in the background. I said uh, hiking up Red Mountain, if you take old shoes because they're going to get all torn up because it's just volcanic rock. It'll just tear shoes up. So this was a, another little uh, panoramic view from right in front of my hotel room. See the way that tree leans over? Yeah, the wind's blowing most of the time. It was a beautiful day there. It was nice. The weather was real kind of pleasant. It's a uh, British island managed so this was flying back to uh antigua sunrise coming up from behind us that's a wingtip of our plane there looking back towards the sunrise beautiful a lot of weather around that area too so we were we were in and out of clouds and turbulence then uh, I got caught back up, um, ended up going out to Hawaii. This was some shots. Um, took off out of uh, San Bernardino, California. So I had to come all the way back from Ascension to Antigua, uh, then out, back out to San Bernardino to catch up with the plane, and we were flying to Hawaii. And we so we flew um, out of San Bernardino to... Honolulu, Hawaii, and then quick turn and flew across to the next island, the uh, Kauai Island, to the town of Lahui, and went there and spent the night. So that was a that was a long day, but uh, as you can see, boy, it really was quite the light show there. You see the lights like underneath the clouds. It's like it's a smoldering fire or something underneath there. It's really pretty. I just couldn't get enough of that. It's really nice there. And of course, I've, I've got the sound turned down so you're not hearing the engine noise, but uh, it's really beautiful and peaceful. That's the view from the cockpit. You see the phone kind of bounce around a little bit, a little bit of turbulence, a little bit of bumpies. You don't worry about that too much, carrying boxes and stuff. You hear passenger airliners all the time. 
asking where the smooth air is because people don't uh, don't like getting bounced around. So uh, just some more shots there of the sunset. I just sit and take it all in, you know, just very thankful I get to do this again and see this. Just try not to ever take it for granted. It's a view out the back of the resort we were staying at. Real nice pools, and there's the uh, ocean there to the back. And I, I post a little video about a walk on this beach. This was the beach I was walking on. So very festive and Christmassy there. Lots of Christmas trees all up around the resort. I did a video, the previous video I did was just walking down the beach, and that's where I saw that seal on the beach. And we were coming back from Lahui. Uh, this was a sunrise as we're flying towards California. Actually, that's a moonrise. Uh, sun's coming up, and at the same time, the moon was, was coming up there. It was pretty cool. Flew over Catalina Island uh, towards L.A. And then... Um, then we're going to get a shot here of uh, the harbor. That's L.A. coming into L.A. in the morning. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, let me know what you think. All right. I'll keep doing it if you want me to keep doing these. All right. Take care.